Referee Annesley blows time on, and we're underway as Dorothy sends the kick deep into uh, Giants' territory. And Gonzalez brings it out 10 metres before he's caught. Now this is Bagnell. On to the uh, prop forward, Jim Cowell. It's a big reputation. Not a lot of him, but uh, a big reputation. First penalty of the match goes to the Giants. North Sydney up inside the five metres. And uh, Mike Eden. We've seen a lot of Sydney football, of course. A very important player to the Giants hopes tonight, Mike Eden. Now Rampling taking it up strong and hard towards the halfway mark is Bagnell. Takes the tackle himself. Johnston getting it on to Cal into North Sydney territory. Johnston again from dummy half makes another five metres. Here's Eden. The kick is over Dorothy's head and will go over the dead ball line. Two footballs on the field. Now we have one. And here comes Graham. Playing this season as a prop, has a reputation or had a reputation of being the best second rower in the world, now playing in the front row. Bella. Giants defence is good, working two and three at a time. Harry Smith. Ray's dummy half, friend. Away to Vincent. Vincent almost through the gap. The tackle from uh, Rampling put him down. And here's another penalty to North Sydney, and it's against Bagnell. <laughs> yes, Bagnell there, a little bit enthusiastic. Uh, you can see uh, exactly what he's been told by his coach. Put him on the ground, he's been told. Well, he went <laughs> overboard with that one. Very late, very late indeed. Dory, he's about uh, five metres outside the right hand upright. a dollar for every point he scored in his career and there's another two as North Sydney take first points here at Tweed Heads it's North Sydney two leading the Gold Coast nil so just the two-point start for the Bears still very tentative and a little bit of feeling uh, from both sides these forwards testing each other out Mike Eden man that engineered an early upset of a try last Saturday night with his kicking game. Very responsible and reliable player tonight. They'll be leaning on him quite heavily. So Gavin Jones trying to work this ball out of the quarter. Plenty of enthusiasm in this defence from the Giants. Johnston appearing to be injured in that tackle. Bella. Struggling to his feet, Johnston. Going to be carrying a shoulder injury. The hooker and captain. French into the space. He's got support on the inside. He just couldn't get that pass free. Well, the ball's gone loose. This will be a penalty for the Bears. And, well, this will be another 10 metres. Ben Gonzalez talking back to Graham Annesley. Tony Rampling also having something to say. Sign so there was the break. Uh, sign of inexperience there. Sorry, Graham. Sign of inexperience there because uh, the uh, stupidity that the Giants players are going on, on with after the tackle will have their coach McCarthy really uh, sweating. Well, sweating especially if you continue to give opportunities away to players like John Dorohy. Only some 32 metres out and very close to being right in front of the posts. 100% record. So the showers have cleared and some souls braving those conditions. A little bit chilly here tonight at Tweed Heads. The highest point scorer for the Norths in 1987, Dora Heat. 86 points after joining the Bears a 
after returning from England. Well, he struck that one equally as well. Stretching that lead now for the Bears. North Sydney now moving to four, the Gold Coast nil. At least it got the crowd started, got them angry, trying to get something started for their Giants. And again. The crowd complimenting Annesley on his decision this time, though. So their first real opportunity to try and get something started with the ball. Ben Gonzalez to restart the play. Plenty of solid defence up the middle. Bagnall. Smith. Johnson calling his forwards down this short blind side. Well, now will be the first chance for the Giants to put points on the board. The Bears all caught offside inside the five. And Annesley has moved right infield to almost in front of the post, so a not too difficult kick for Mike Eden, a prolific point scorer and a man that can kick around the corner either foot. Well, the ball boy was a little bit reluctant to come on then. I don't know for what reason. Uh, Eden likes to get a little bit of sand. They all do. And uh, we had about a 30-second delay there while the little lad made his mind up to go on. <coughs> had to be called on eventually. There he is, Pui or Bear Eden. Yeah, he certainly doesn't pay too much attention to any uh, uniformity of taking steps or taking time. Back he goes. Not a problem, so the Giants are on the board at last. Through Mike Eden, North Sydney 4, Gold Coast Tweed Giants 2. Almost to the quarter line. This is Bagnell. Here comes Smith. Defence holds him. There's Jones and French. Now Johnson showing it to a few people. Finally, Browning takes it. This time it's to the replacement player, Whitbread. This is Cowie. Cow getting the ball back. It's been knocked down by North Sydney. Gonzalez has picked it up. Tackle count restarts as Bagnell dances around. Now, can the Giants do anything? They're about 18 metres out from the North Sydney line. It's to Eden. Whitbread. Another penalty to the Giants. It's against Mark Graham. Comes up with a smile on his face. National Panasonic Cup replay. Mark Graham, the transgressor in this uh, holding down of the tackle player. Well, that's a fairly simple kick for, for Mike Eden. Been a lot of comment about the uh, Giants' jumpers and their similarity to the Penrith jumpers. From a distance, they certainly do look alike. Black, silver and white for the Giants and brown and white for the Panthers as Eden makes no mistake with this one and levels the score. The Giants and North Sydney locked together at 4 all. Bella. Been very keen to take the ball up but he's suddenly met by Peter Smith and Billy Johnston. Gray from dummy half. It's been all one-out stuff. Clayton Friend has a a back line to use here. Look for the chip. Oh, it just opened right up. This will be the first try. Clayton Friend, the defence just opening up for him. And there was no cover to beat. So the first try of the match for North Sydney. National Panasonic Cup Ray. Hooray, hooray, they've scored a try. And here's the way it came. Clayton Friend sighted an opening and ran straight through it. That's all there was to it. He just showed some acceleration and got the defence at sixes and sevens and they were unable to cope with him. From another angle, we see it again. He sights the opening. There it is. He's running straight at the camera. And as he comes, the defence comes to him, but he's over the line by that time. It's all taken place in the space of about 10 metres. Here it is from directly ahead. Gets around Billy Johnson. And, uh, well, there it was. Just a little bit of steady football eventually and some acceleration. Groundsman, 25 years of age. And the silver award for the Dally M's in 87. He's been a good player for Norths, a great buy. 
But Russell Browning, the lock forward for the Giants, showing his uh, inexperience. Dora, he still with that 100%. He showed his inexperience, Russell Browning, by moving up too quickly in that defensive line and leaving posted Billy Johnson, who was on the inside. So this kick only about 10, 12 metres to the side of the post. Hasn't really had a difficult one as yet. It's three from... Th oh, he's hit the left hand upright. That ball was sailing for the post, and then it just really went away. So that Gold Coast uh, side still down by the four points. North's eight, the Giants four. Jones. Met by Whitbread and Browning. Mark Graham. Oh, solid defence from the Giants. Again, Jim Cow comes at him. Bella. Last tackle for the Bears. They've moved play to nearly the halfway line. Ray. There's plenty of chases from North Sydney. Well, he's lost it. There's numbers there. This should be the second try for Clayton Friend. He unloads. Andrew Vincent, in fact, is the man that will score. Well, that was all brought about. It was a good kick and plenty of chasing, plenty of enthusiasm. They came up with the error, and they just had the numbers there to come up with the try. Yes, well, there he was, number 15, with the player that lost the ball. Brett Rolls swoops on it, gets it to Clayton Friend, and Friend sprints in to get himself between close on the next man, and Vincent finally takes the pass and goes over in the corner. So the floodgates have opened slightly for North Sydney. They've scored two tries in a couple of minutes. There's Roll losing the ball for no apparent reason. The ball whipped up there by Simmons. Simmons got it away to Friend. Friend got it away to the support player, Vincent. And Vincent's gone very, very smartly and scored a try on the corner. Good one. So Dorothy with his most difficult kick. Well, he's missed that one badly. So that scoreline will stay the same at the end of the second quarter. North 12, Gold Coast 4. So Bagnall has moved into that dummy half position. And the penalty goes the Giants' way. Interesting to see whether they go for touch or Eden will go for goal. On the National Panasonic Cup replay, again, the players lying on the man trying to get up to play the ball. Well, it'll put a completely different complexion on the game if, uh, if he kicks the goal because it'll, they'll be back in striking distance again just to try and a goal behind. I don't think it's beyond his range. Question is, which foot will he kick it with? <laughs> He's uh, not being funny to viewers. This man is Ambi Pedestris. He kicks left or right footed. He's what? He's Ambi Pedestris. <laughs> now, that may be a made up word, but it exactly <laughs> describes what he is. Right foot kicker on this occasion, Eden. Oh, they haven't moved the touch judges. So he puts them within touch now. North 12, the Gold Coast 6. Dorry, he, well, that kick was nearly charged down. And it's going to go out. Well, that was touched. So it's got to be ruled into play. The touch judge was initially taking that ball back to the kick. Yes, charged down. Uh, Dorothy was the kicker. The ball then went out on the fall, but it was charged down, so it takes the place where the ball crossed the line. So there's the siren. Clayton Friend would probably just take the tackle. But Annesley wants the ball again. Can they win it against the feed and get score a try after the bell? Can they not lose the ball? And they haven't, and that's the game. So there's that score line and not much to talk about, really. A game that never rose to any great heights. North 12, the Gold Coast, Tweed Giants 6.